Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'll be showing you how to root your Nexus 4 and get root access with all the apps that you need that require root. This will work with any Android version, 4.2.2, 4.3, and of course 4.4 KitKat. So let's get started. So head over to your browser of choice, mine is Google Chrome, and go to Google. And in Google, look up PDANet, P-D-A-N-E-T. Go to the first result, pdanet.co and go to download for Windows or Mac. Press version 4.1 to install or whichever is the latest version and wait for the download to complete. So after the download is complete, click on that file and press run. For administrator privileges, press yes. Install this program like you would install any other installation. Uh, it is telling me that existing version of PDN found in your PC. Select OK to uninstall it before continuing. I will do so at the moment. You will not be prompted with this because you do not have PDN already. All right, so it's done. And you will be prompted with this screen when you get it. I had to un uninstall mine because I already had it installed. But since I'm doing a tutorial, I will install it anyway, and that th does not do any harm, so why not? Press next. I agree. Next. Next again. And next. Let it do its thing, and press LG, and um, you'll be prompted with the install driver screen, this one. Uh, do not press don't install driver anyway, that will just be a disaster, you cannot do anything. Do press install this driver software anyway. At this screen, this is asking for configuring device for our Android uh, ADB mode, and you already have done that, so press skip USB. We'll prompt it with this, just ignore this, press OK, and you'll be done with the installation. Take off these check marks and press finish. So what you've done now essentially is that you've installed Android device bootloader drivers. What that does is gives you really low level access to your device, which is required for getting root. So since you're done with the first part of the software, so let's do the second part. This second and last part is uh, getting the actual files that are required for getting root access on your Nexus 4. This is the actual files that go on your Nexus 4 for flashing them. I do have this link uh, in the description, so if you just want to go there and click on that link. But I have it saved in my browser, so I don't have to do that. So it is called Nexus 4 rootfiles.zip. So it's a very small archive, it's just a 9 megabyte download. And press download now on this. Remember, you will find this in the description. Just wait for this file to download and before you root your phone I just want to say that if you do not know what you're doing for example if you think rooting your phone will give you anything and everything that is not true yes it will give you some cool things but it also comes with some dangers if you install dangerous software such as I don't know an app that claims to give you 500% more battery because just because you have a root device obviously that is fake why because that is not part of the hardware and having battery power is part of the hardware so just use common sense when using using a root apps. If it sounds too good to be true, it's probably not. So um, after the file is downloaded, click on the file. And you have to extract this somewhere. I'll be extracting it to my desktop. There you go. And after you extract to your desktop, go inside the folder. In this, it will be coming up with all these files. Don't worry about them. Hold shift, left shift, right click and drag across an empty space and let go. You will see that a new thing has come here, an option it says open command prompt window here. Click on that and you will be presented with this command prompt. Don't be scared, it's just a command prompt. That's how they used to be in the olden days. People had to do all these things just to run simple programs. So what you want to do now is plug in your uh, Nexus 4 and you should already have that plugged in and power your phone off and the next part of this video also shows you these instructions. So just follow the next part of the video then for this. So this is the part of the video you have to turn off and put into ADB mode. In order to do that, unplug your phone from the computer. Hold power, turn it off from the menu. Now it's off, hold, 
volume up and down together and hold power. Wait till you see that screen with a Android lying down. It's exactly this screen. Okay, so now that you have your next port plugged in in ADB mode, you should see Android lying down and of course the lock state is unlocked as I said it before in the video or uh, in the screen captions it said to have an unlocked bootloader and I do have a tutorial on that, you can check it out. So at this screen with your phone plugged in, as I said before, within uh, ADB mode, type in fast boot space flash space recovery space twrp dot img and you're ready to do this just press enter so that's it the recovery has been flashed it is very very small and now you have a custom recovery and you have root access to your device uh, in order to check if you actually have the recovery with a uh, root access you do have to do this it's mandatory press your volume button once you will see power off Again, pr and press the power up button, you will see recovery mode. Press, press rec uh, when you're in recovery mode, press your power button. Your phone will disconnect from the computer, and you will be inside recovery mode. It should say team win with a blue screen, and have all these options, install wipe, backup, restore, blah, blah, blah. Press reboot, and system, and you will be prompted. Install super SU, and with a question mark, your device does not have, appear to be rooted. Install SuperSU now. This will be your device. Uh, yes, you want to install, so swipe to install. And it's done. So we will be booted up into Android. You will see that a new icon has popped up in your app drawer. It is called SuperSU or called SuperSU Installer. So we'll press that app, and inside that app, you will see the two bottom prompts Play or TWRP. Tap on TWRP and of course you have to be connected to the internet but via Wi-Fi or data. So let the thing download and it is downloading TWRP to your device or uh, next of course root files to your device. Let it do its thing and after it is done it will say your device will reboot. Press OK and you will be done. We rebooted with a new app. It will be just called SuperSU with a triangle and a hash in the middle. And you can go test our root apps now. Thank you for watching this video and have a great day.